Hello, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Remus. This is going to cost you a little over a million to a little under 1.4, depending on whether you take advantage of the trade discount or not. So this car, guys, had a lot of very interesting customizations. It was basically like the uh, RT3000 where you know the front and rear bumpers were able to be pulled off uh which i only did the front bumper you know that one got ripped off um but then it also had different uh pieces like the warner hkr where you know it had some of the bozu bozo bozu zoku uh stuff uh like the exhaust for instance um it just it it had a wide different variety of style stuff from like different cars um but it was still very unique in its own way one of those things being a roof rack option for you to actually put a box on the roof of the car or there's actually a stack of four tires that you can put up there which is what i ended up going with because i tried to go with more of a drift missile look uh for this car so I thought the spare tires on the roof were very fitting. Um, so while we're still sitting here looking at uh, the car, let me get a little bit of talking out of the way so the video can be as short as possible. Um, this is the first vehicle. Actually, this is not the first. This is the second vehicle on our list. Um, that is out of our top four cars. This one is not one of the top cars. This one is basically tied for third with the RT3000. The RT3000, which we previously looked at, and this one are fighting for who's in third and who's in fourth. And then the Jester RR is probably the best. And the ZR350 is the second best. Now, for this one, I decided to do something a little different. Not only because this is one of our more high-level respected cars for racing, but also because in the same recording, it just so happened to be that we were put on the same track. One race where he had no custom cars. One race was custom cars. And I happen to use the same car. Um, so, let, let's talk a little bit about why I feel like, you know, this car beats the other six in the update that didn't make it on the top four list. Well, it handles almost as if it was all-wheel drive. I don't think it's all-wheel drive, but it handles like it is. Like, you can go ahead and brake really hard before a corner give a gas snaps you can just gun it through a turn grips goes like it it's so hard to understeer this vehicle and it is extremely hard to oversteer the vehicle at the same time like it is just it's such an extremely good handling vehicle it's extremely good looking the braking is really good the acceleration is phenomenal steering is phenomenal like everything about it it just it really handles really takes corners and it just because of that it's able to really keep up with the ZR350 and the Jester RR and the RT3000 and this are just they're very different but they're very close with the lap times that they can put down um, as you can see though, on the left, compared to the bigger one, you can see just how having a custom car compared to a stock car also, um, has a difference in lap times. Doesn't look like a lot, but we're only one lap in, and, uh, the stock car is pretty much staying consistently about 
four or five seconds behind farther per lap. Um, so that's it. I hope that you guys found this video helpful. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And I also hope to see you guys in the next one. Sorry if I talked way too much in this one and there wasn't a whole lot of specific information. But I'm just trying to state my honest opinion and say why certain things in the video are being presented the way they are. That's all I have for you guys. Have a good one. I'm out. Peace.